Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pokey Gems Art. In today's video, I will teach you about shadows. I will teach you about geometric optical illusions, guys. But before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. All right, this one is pretty simple, guys. A regular piece of paper and a Sharpie marker. Guys, you can make this how you want, but here's how we start. We come across straight, and then I'm going to make almost like a little hill. And I'm especially making these hills here to teach you guys about the shadow effect. So we're going to come down here. We're going to come across again one more time. All right, we'll come down. And guys, you can use pencil for this. You can use crayons, but I chose to use Sharpie marker. A nice dark black marker comes off really nice. We'll go ahead and come down after the second hill. Make it a little bit wider. Guys, take your time on this. Come around right here. And then as we come up, we'll finish it up almost with like a little swirl pattern. Because I think that's kind of the whole point of this illusion. Um, that we'll finish it up coming straight out. And then that's the part that I'm going to teach you guys how to do the shadow and the illusion. So this is the basic drawing. I don't know if you want to call it a drawing. Call it a scribble. Call it whatever you want. But here's, guys, the next thing we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to give this depth, how to make it look like it's literally coming off the paper. So you guys know I love my charcoal pencil. So I'm going to come out right here. And all these areas that kind of come upwards, I'm going to make a shadow, obviously, going downwards, right? Because think about if something is standing in place. Think about a sun casting a shadow in the upper left hand corner of this paper it's going to cast a shadow this way it's going to be a little bit darker around the edges and just a little bit more faint on the bottom and and what i'll do is i'll do the same thing on this little hill right here we're going to pretend that this hill is casting a little bit of a shadow also um, and then before we get done guys i'm going to show you how i smudge it a little bit just to really tighten those up really nicely because you know you look at shadows none of them are perfect right they're a little bit darker a little bit lighter that's what really makes it pop off the paper so let's go ahead and put a little bit there uh, maybe tighten this up a little bit a little bit darker around the edges and guys if you don't have charcoal pencil feel free to use a regular lead pencil it works just fine I personally just like the charcoal because it it really smudges really well all right now this last piece is kind of the key to the drawing you're gonna we're gonna make this look like the shadow is coming off of that little string kind of holding up our little drawing now, guys, I chose to smudge with a cotton swab. I usually use my cloth, but in this case, see, it would be a little bit too thick. And I don't want it to kind of get the whole thing dirty. You can use your finger. But, guys, this is a little artist trick. Um, a cotton swab works perfect. Um, so, yeah, just use this and basically just kind of wipe it off the edges and giving it that little faint gray color shadow right in the middle. And, uh, like I said, feel free to play with it. Guys, check out this other cool shadow project that I created here. Um, feel free to come back, click on the paper, and then do this other project here. Um, and don't forget, guys, we do go live on YouTube every single day in the evening. So if you guys get a chance, come on our lives. They're tons of fun. You can win prizes. You can win gift cards, all kinds of good stuff. So check those out, guys, besides the drawings. We do go live here on YouTube every day in the evening, usually about 5 o'clock p.m. my time, Central Time. All right, guys, that's about it. Now, take your camera, pull it away a little bit, and then hold your pen kind of an inch or two above the paper, but that it looks like you're touching that string. Now, doesn't it look like you're literally dropping a string or dropping some color on the paper, guys? I think that's pretty cool. Hey, if you like that project, if you want to see any other ones, guys, check out my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. We post on TikTok every single day, guys. Check out my website, www.pokegems.com, where you can find my swag. You can get all kinds of good information. And if you haven't done so, guys, please hit subscribe to that channel, turn on the notifications, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one.